and we're gonna get into that warm up. Yeah, let's go. You know, nice arms. Round they go. Big wide arms. Really. <laughs> Round we go, round we go, round we go. Big wide circles. And we go back the other way. Let's go. Circle out the shoulders. Loosen them off. It's warm. Weather forecast time. It's hot and sunny by the looks of it. Haven't been out in the garden yet, but... All right. It's sunny. It's hot in my living room. And some smaller circles. There they go. Oh, my shoulders are aching today. And palms up. And wide. And five. And four. And three. Two. And one. Elbows nice and high. Step my feet out. How we go. Out we go. I hope everybody's noticing results in their fitness. Have a look in the mirror, see some changes, feel some strength changes, getting out of your bed in the morning. Three, two, and one. Keep them out, keep them feet fixed. Give yourself a little pat on the back. See it, come on. Just loosen up the upper back. And lift the heel, look around behind. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Keep your steps out, chin up, flat back, reach it down, and we're going between the feet. Let's go. We're about to get our heart warmed up. And five. And four, and three, two, and one. Up we come, we've got the shoulder width with the feet, and we're going into squats, let's go. Hope you can feel Tuesday's lower body session right now. Let's go. And six, and five, and four, and three, two, and one, hands on hips, alternate lunges, out we go. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Up we come, 10 o'clock, two o'clock, and switch. It's about to get hot and sweet. Hands speed up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Elbows higher. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and jump in jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, high knees. Let it go. And give me some butt kicks. And all one press up, let's go. And one, good one. And it's high knees. Quick up, quick up. We're gonna do something called sprawls. So a sprawl is when you just hit the deck, all your body, and you pop back up, and butt kick. Three, two, one, sprawl. Hand up, high knees, hand sprawl. Hand up, butt kick, and sprawl. Hand up, high knees. Two press ups. One, two, and butt kick, three press ups, one, two, three, and sprint finish, let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. How's that heart rate? Feeling good? Breathe in. Oh, it's good to breathe the oxygen. Hey, Dave Winnie. How you doing, my man? Get over to YouTube. It's much better. Oh, hope to see you Sunday. Tell the kids it's superheroes on Saturday. Breathe in, breathe in. We've got 40 seconds break. Who's in the chat? Hey, Logana, morning. Hey, Beth Ball, morning. Oh, hang on, you're over there. Alex Van Dyke, how you doing, bud? Matt Strant, yes, Matt. Morning sessions. And Lewis is over there with the family, yeah? Cool, how you doing, buddy? Oh, Mason, my 100 percenters over here on Zoom. We've got 20 seconds left. I need to get these invites right on Zoom. I need to speak to IT today. We'll get this sorted. We'll get our numbers back up there. I'm hoping plenty of you are over here now. I think we've got 16 on YouTube, so give me them thumbs. Okay, right. We are going in. Here's upper body. We're going to do press-ups. It's going to be a little twist to them today. So I want everybody to start without the full press-up, unless you've done this before. Really thinking about fixing that core here, okay? So let's put in the abs. We're going to go to a knees only press up like this. Okay, it's just gone dark in here. That's not very good. I might open the blinds in a sec. But what we're going to do is we're going to lift up one leg, straighten that out. Really fix your core. Your hips are parallel to the ground. Okay, fix that core. And you're going to bring yourself down. One. Come on with me. Two. Three. Four. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring that knee back down. So make sure your hips aren't opening up, okay? No big wiggle. We're fixing. You can feel your glute. You can feel your opposite side and your abdominals. And we do the opposite side. Okay, so bring them knees down. Sorry, bring that hip down. Fix the abs. Straighten that rear leg. Left leg straight. And we go down. Six. Five. Four, three, two, elbows are by your side, and one. Good. Now we can do the same thing in a full press up. We'll do it on round two, have some practice. But right there, you're going to feel it's just messing with your core. It's making you work for them stabilizing muscles. You bring yourself around now. We're getting to dips. And we've got similar, similar theory to this one. So we're going to get our hands directly underneath our shoulders. Pop yourself up. Just this. Oh, close up. Here we go. So down here, hands directly under the shoulders. Pop your butt up. Pull them feet out slightly. Now think about your abs. Pull your abs in. Shift them shoulders back. And you're going to lift one leg. And we're going to dip. One, two. Three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, shake them out, circle them off, doing the other leg. So again, same position. Shift that shoulder back, lift the other leg, and ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So right now you can see there's extra resistance being moved onto your triceps. At the same time, your abs and core are coming more into play to stabilize things, and you're getting a bit of an abs workout right there. Bang for your buck. Okay, that's it, the first set. It's not three exercises. It's kind of four, I'll call it two. Have a sip of water. Again, back to press ups. So, what we're going to do is you're going to try the full press up. If you can do the full press up, we're going to try the full press ups like this, okay? It's progression. Hashtag progress. In position. Ready? 
Stay on your knees if you have to. Brace them abs, okay? Ready? Pull them abs in. Belly button to spine. Lift one leg. Right leg, and we go down. One. Two. Chest comes between your hands. Three. Four. Two more. Five. And six. Bring that knee down. So you feel you're hitting the quad of the floor that's on the ground. Uh, floor that's on the ground. Hitting the quad of the leg that's touching the ground. Okay, you're hitting the glute on the leg in the air. Your abs and core are switched on. You don't want to arch your back. Go to the other side. We're in. We just lifted our right leg. So now fix them core, that core, and lift the left leg. Squeeze that button. Down we go. One. Two. Three. Three left. Two more. Pull the abs in. Last one. Yeah. Softly down with the knee. So turn them shoulders. Feel that right? Yeah. Here we go. Bring it round. Dip position. Hands pointing forwards. No time like the present. Pop yourself up. Pull them feet out. Let me shift them shoulders back. Lift that right leg. And we're off. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Elbows go back. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Sit down. Circle out. Three, two, one. Let's keep time on tension. Back in. Left leg up. And we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Woo! <sighs> Good. Sip of water if you need it. Go grab it. Third set coming up. Okay, bring yourself back around, press up position. Should be starting to feel it in them arms now. Foot if you can, or on your knees. If you have to make it easier, just come down to here. Push away, you won't be able to lift the leg on it, okay? Just try and work yourself through them. Do as many of the hardest ones you can do and move on to the next one down, okay? So, full on position. Brace the abs. Lift that right leg. And we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Ab fixed. Don't wiggle them hips. Get ready. We go to the other side. Left leg. In position, left leg up, and six, five, four, three, two, last one, and push it out. Yes. Woo. Circle up. Didn't get more. That was tough. Thought I was going to face plant that last one. Face planting, no, we're fear of face planting is great motivator, okay? Absolutely great motivator. We need that fear or face plant, F O. F O F P. Yeah, you can't do it on camera. Woo. Okay, fingers pointing forwards. Lift your butt up. Shift them shoulders back. Right leg. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then it comes. Get your left leg ready. Up it comes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Woo. Circle out them shoulders. Fear of face plant. Nice. It's the thing. Gonna hashtag it. Grab a drink. Circle out the neck. Okay, you've got 20 seconds. We're going to move on to the next one, okay? Next set, what time are we at? Yeah, that's about right. So, any exercise is quite a common thing. Any exercise is strength from wrist. It's not necessarily your 
recently strengthening during the dips, what happens is you end up in a position where your elbow is over the top of your fingers, and that's going to cause the problem in here, okay? So what you got to do, when I say shift them shoulders back, it's really important. This is key to anybody who's got the problem in their wrist with the dips. When you pop yourself up, what happens is you tend to go like this because it makes things easier because you're only going to bend them elbows a little bit, okay? See where my shoulder is in relation to my hands? You need to bring it right back here. If you need to do less reps, it's fine. You drag the heel of your hands into the ground, elbows go backwards. Try it now. What you should feel, no pressure on them wrists, but pressure right in on the triceps, okay? Which is where we want to be. Give it a go. Let me know if you're still getting that pain. In between sets, small circles on the hands. That's a pretty common one. Make sure if you're doing it on a chair or on a ledge, I've got a ledge here. Again, if my shoulders are forward here, I'm going to put extra pressure on my wrists. I need to bring it back here so that your back and your butt is going very close to the surface that you're dipping from. There we go, all muscle. Right. Okay. You've had an extended drink. Thank you, Seb. Right. Next thing we're going to do is called a posterior plank. So it's going to work your back. It's going to work your core again. It's going to work your legs. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to get a hand. You can have them sprayed out to the side on this one. You're going to get forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to just lift our hips in the air. Keep our head neutral. So it comes up right here. You're going to force them shoulder blades behind your back together. Engage there. We're going to hold. And then you're going to bring yourself back down. You're not going to touch the ground. And you're going to go again. Let's go. And down. Don't touch the ground. Up we go. Squeeze that butt. Squeeze that shoulder blades together. Down and up. See it really extend. Get your chest to the ceiling. And down. And up. Head's neutral. We're going to do six quick ones. Here we go. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two, and one, down you come. So you're gonna feel it behind your legs here, you're gonna feel it in your lower back. If you're squeezing them shoulder blades together, you're gonna get in the upper back and your arms, okay? Next one we're gonna do is you're gonna spin it around into a plank press up position. Yeah, there's a lot going through the shoulders today. It's a upper body day. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start in our plank. Make sure you've got some room behind you. So we're going to walk these out. Your hands stay where they are. You walk your feet backwards as far as you can. You squeeze your upper back. And then you walk forwards. Until your shoulders are directly above your wrists. Everybody get into the press-up position. My sweat's coming. It's a good thing. We're there. Up. Plank position. Little walks for them feet. Bring it back. Keep going. When you feel uncomfortable, like you're going to fall. Hold that. Brace the abs. Squeeze them shoulders. Upper back. And walk back. We get to the start position. We go back again. Let's go. And squeeze. Ow. What's wrong? Oh, my ankle on the radiator. And walk further. Mind your ankle on the radiator. <laughs> it's really sharp. Whoops. That was wifey. Sorry, wifey. Walk it back. Hold. Make sure the abs are braced and up. We've got two more. And walk it out. And hold. Three, two, one. Walk it back. And walk it out. Last one. And hold. Three, two, one. Walk it back. And knee softly down. Sit back on your feet. Have a little stretch. How do you find that one? Hard. Hard? Good. So really, you've got to keep the abs pulled in. There's a tendency to want to sink your hips forward and arch your back. Fight it. If you can't fight it, you need to stop. Give yourself a free count and get yourself back in, okay? Last thing we're doing on this one is we're going back to, we're going to a normal plank position. And we're going to row, okay? So 
in plank position, back down. What we're gonna do, you can imagine you've got some dumbbells underneath you. You wanna try and keep your hips from flaring up like this when we do the exercise. You're gonna bring your hand here, and we're gonna 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Remember, your hips are parallel to the ground. Other arm, one, two, you'll make it easier. Bring your legs wider. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. Hold. Four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Sit back. That's the set. It's quite a long set, that one, isn't it? We're good. Fifty-three. Grab a drink. Got two sets of that. We'll whiz through them a little bit. Remember, any plank holds, any press-up holds, keep your hips parallel to the ground. You'll always want to wiggle them because that's what's easier for you. Easier isn't better. Right, posterior plank. So, feet forward. Hands spread out to support you. Bring yourself up the top and think about getting your chest forward. See that movement? There to there. That's what we want to get. Three and down. We come up, chest forward, three, two, one, and down, and up, chest forward, three, two, one, and down. That's how we turn into upper back. Up, chest forward, three, two, one, and down. Last one. Up, chest forward, three, two, one, and down. Bring knees in. <sighs> Spin it around. We can do the plank walkouts. So it's a press up plank position. You know? Bless you. Couldn't stop the sneeze. Bless you again. Right, walk it out. Two extended, not slipping. Hold. Pull the mabs in. And walk it back. That's one. And back out. Hold, and back, and back, walk it out, hold, pull the mabs in, come on people, don't march that back, and up, we've got three more, walk it out, and hold, two, one, and back, and walk it out, and three, two, one, and back. Last one. And we'll get out. Come on, big hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back. Knees down. Circle out them arms. Tension out them shoulders. Plank row position. Remember, take your feet wider. If you want to make it a little bit easier for you. So, plank position. Feet wide if you need. Butt down, abs switched on, right arm, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hips parallel to the ground, and 4, 3, 2, 1, switch sides, and 10, 9, 8, 7, elbow back, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, knees down, sit back, have a stretch. Grab your water. Whew. Who's sweating? I'm sweating. <sighs> Cheers. 56, 56. Let's get ourselves in. Put our water down. Posterior plank position. Remember, we get our hips up and concentrate on getting our chest forward. I just retract, retracting the scapula. So just pull back, hands spread wide, feet out, lift, three, two, one, and up, and chest up, three, two, one, and down, and up, and chest, retract that back, two, one, and back, and up, and out, two, one, and back. And up, and out, two, 
one we've got two left and up and out three two one and back last one up it goes chest forward five four three two and one down you come putting knees in tension out that lower back spin around okay press up position we're gonna do nice quick walks okay three two one walk it back as far as you can and forward and back and forward keep it going backwards we go and forwards abs braced and back now forwards keep it going okay three more walk it out and back two more and back last one's coming and back and hold there three two one knees down softly sit back stretch not over yet plank position elbows down lift your butt abs are switched on right arm row first here we go and five no not five three four five six seven eight nine ten switch sides and ten nine eight seven six five four three two hold at the end hold there ten nine keep your head neutral but down six five pull them abs in four three two softly down with the knees and one sit back bring the knees out child pose stretch it forward big stretch Walk them hands back to your knees, all fours. We're going to do a cat stretch. Round it off. And five, four, three, two, and one. We'll have a little stretch off in a minute. That's victory to us. Well done, people. If you did it all, that's for you. Grab your water. Ah, Mop that sweat. Ooh. I'm feeling that. I'll tell you, what, I'm gonna to have to order like a carpet cleaner at some point. Just come, just sweat is just dropping. There's gonna be a it's gonna be like a Steve stain in the middle of the floor. It's yeah. gonna be horrible. It's grim, right? Sip water. If your arms are working, give me them thumbs up. They're all hard today. Yeah, they are, Laura. Yeah. As I'm writing these, I write these lessons the night before and I get all like excited and like, optimistic about what we can do. So I start writing all these things. And then next day I look at it and I go, oh, why did I put that in? Why did I do that for? Okay, on your feet. Come on, team. We're in it together. Let's adjust that. So before these classes started, I didn't train like this and I trained other people. So this is kind of new to me as well. I haven't done this kind of training for a long time. I'm noticing differences in my physique, strength, etc., posture. So I know that you guys are. Let's just make sure we did everything safely. Big stretch up. I used to just go to the gym, lift heavy weights. Oh, that's the principle of overload. It gives you bigger muscles. But there's something that's definitely great about this kind of training. We are still overloading the muscles using our own body weight. We just got to be a bit more creative. And we go back the other way. Interlock them fingers, step them feet out, reach forward, chin to chest. Five, four, three, two, one, you should really feel that stretch today. Put your hands facing down with your fingers. Squeeze them elbows together behind. Try that scapula. Ah, there it is. 
and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Step them feet out, one hand on your thigh. The other hand's gonna come directly over. I don't want any of this, okay? I'm, so from the side, so watch this, okay? You need to be aligned, you need to go straight back. What people do is they jut their hips forward and do that. That's your lower back. Uh -uh. Or they lean forward. We're just hitting the abs a little bit there. There's no stretch there. So right over. I've talked too much. Three, two, one. Then we go the other way. My wife's already moved on. Not like with her life or anything, just with the stretches. <laughs> yeah, she found somebody in lockdown. It's unbelievable. Four, three, two, one. You can't get this with anybody else, baby. <laughs> okay, stay your feet out. Chin up. Oh, okay. All right, I get it. <laughs> it's not what you want. <laughs> Drop it down. Stick your butt back. And five, four, three, two. Interlock your thumbs all the way up. Keep them interlocked as far back as they can go. Squeeze your butt at the same time. You should heal, feel your hip flexors. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's just go in. There's not much we need to do other than have a little karate kid finish. Three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one, and we go to the other side. And three, two, one, and three, two, one. Hiya! Good. Ah, oh, YouTube and Zoom and Instagram, they only need this sign. You can just click that and just go right with done our workout. Well done, everybody. Thank you, Zoomers. Lovely to see your faces. Yes, Seb, Mike, Elaine, Jess. Woo, well done, people. Neil, Graham, Jess. Where you at? Let me see your faces. Have a good day, everybody. Any questions, send them to me. That was tough, man. Lee, yeah, sorry, no video. Bad lockdown, bike in the hair day. I've got hair envy, Lee. Nice one, Kellum. Ah, oh, YouTube, thank you, everybody. Who's over there? We got. Try as a toast, yes, Alex. That's what we're doing. We're getting that. Nice one, Neil. Good work, man. Looks like you've been sweating, bud. <laughs> fish, lovely. Nice one. Nice one, the fish. We struggle with my upper body. Definitely noticed some changing my strength for well done, Sherry. Just stick with it. We've got to work on the things we're not good at, not the things we're good at. Taylor, I see you. Louise Court. Nice one. Who's on Insta? David, if you're still there, take easy, my man. See you later, people. Oh, let's close that one off. And uh, share to IGTV. Okay, I'll do that. Ah, Lewis, family. Nice one, bud. Take care. Have a good day. 11 of you, but only nine thumbs up. Come on, man. What's going on? See you later, guys. Love you, man. Adios.